Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to create a new Windows user account here in Windows 11. So, to get started, the first thing that you want to do is navigate to the Start menu here and then find your Settings app. See, mine is right here, I've pinned the Settings app. If you want to find yours, it's not here, you can just go to the search bar like this here and then just search for Settings and then you'll see the gear icon they're representing the settings app. Now, over on the left-hand sidebar here, we'll see all of the different types of things that we can adjust here in Windows. We want to go to Accounts, obviously, and then once here, we want to go to where we see Family and Other Users. Go ahead and click on Family and Other Users. Now, currently, I only have the one account here on Windows 11, and adding this one will obviously take me to two, but you can add as many as you would like, one for each family member, or if you have a public computer and you want to add a guest user, you just go to the other users option here and click on add account to add a guest user. Now, either one of these is fine, whichever one you want to do, I'm just going to add a family member here for simplicity's sake, and then I click on Add Account, and then you're going to see this dialog box be presented to you here. Now, it's going to ask you to add an email address here. If you don't want to enter an email address, you would just go to right here where it says No Microsoft Account. You would just go to Create One for a Child. The same goes for the Guest Account or Other User Account here. When that pops up, go to I don't have this person's sign-in information, and then Every step beyond this point is exactly the same. Then you'll just adjust the, uh, you know, the ability that that user will have on this PC or this machine. Now, once you hit next here, you'll see something that says create account and you will uh, have an option here to either use a phone number or add a user without a Microsoft account or you can get a new email address. I'm gonna go with add a user without a Microsoft account. And then what we're going to want to do is go to who's going to use this PC. This is going to be the user's name. So when this PC boots up, this is going to be what they see. You're going to see, uh, you know, Bob, Alice, Susan, whatever their names are, this is going to be that right here. All right, and once you've given that user a name, you wanna go ahead and enter a password. Make sure you write it down somewhere, obviously. So go ahead and type in the password here. After that, you'll need to scroll down to where you will see your three security questions. Just click the drop down menu here, select the security questions of your choice, and go ahead and type in your answers. Once you've selected your three security questions and typed in your answers, make sure you write those down somewhere. Go ahead and click the blue next button there at the bottom of that page. And now, as we can see here under other users, I've now added another account. So now if I go to my start menu here, go to where I see my user down here, it shows you what users logged in. If we click on that there, you can see now, here is the other user account here. Now, because of the way my screen recorder works, it's not going to allow me to sign out and sign back in, but basically when you sign in for the first time under a new user account, you're basically going to have to go and select a couple of options and different things like as far as the ability and the access that that user has. So I recommend you do that one time and set up those access limits within that user and you should be good to go. If, however, you want to change users, right here like I am here, just go and select the user here at the bottom like I'm doing, and as you can see, we can select our other users here in a drop-down menu. If we wanted to change the account settings, we could go to change account settings here, and the current logged in account, we would change those settings there. Also, back at the family and other users settings here, we can click the drop-down menu, and we can go to right here where it says account options. We can even change the account type, or we could delete that specific account by just going to remove here, and that would then delete that account and all of the data associated with that account, so make sure that you are being careful. If you have any questions beyond this on accounts in Windows 11, please put those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.